A new state bill is requiring animal rescues to register with the state. State Senator Pete Lacito is introducing the legislation. He says it's meant to weed out hoarders and animal abusers who claim to be rescue groups. 7 News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us how he's also sponsoring two other bills meant to protect pets from abuse and neglect. Animal rescue organizations need to be regulated by the state. That's what State Senator Pete Lacito says, and some animal organizations agree, which is why they're working together to protect more pets. Today I took a new stance. My four-legged friends are going to have a voice. And who better to give them one than State Senator Pete Lacito? He's loud, outspoken, and passionate about many things, including animals. You got too many people out here that are saying, I'm a rescue, and they're stealing dogs, and they're selling dogs, and they're breeding dogs, and they're no rescue. One of the examples he's talking about? Earlier this year, dozens of dogs were found in a Roseville Cemetery garage. The woman told police she runs a rescue. Lacito also hopes this bill could stop hoarders, like the one in Shelby Township last year. Lacito has been working with the Detroit Pit Crew Dog Rescue to iron out the details in this bill. The parties involved agree on at least one thing. We want to make sure everybody's doing the right thing. The Michigan Humane Society sent us this statement showing their support, calling this an important bill. Lacito is also introducing two other bills meant to protect animals. One will require child and adult protective services to report animal abuse to the proper authorities. Another bill will require veterinarians to report signs of animal abuse. The measure will include immunity without legal exposure. We need to have some rules put into place so that we can go against those perpetrators that are killing, abusing, harming our animals. And Lucido hopes to introduce this legislation in the next few weeks. Right now, he's working with organizations to iron out some details with the bill that involves animal rescues. He says if this bill goes through, rescue groups have six months to register with the state and they can continue using foster volunteers as long as they keep their information for two years. I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News.